Hello and welcome to the first video in this tutorial series and in this video we will focus on the user interface of Subcom. The first thing we will look at is the economy panel in the top left hand corner. It's divided in mass and energy. The big number in the middle of the panel shows your relative income. That means your total income minus that what you are using right now. If you have an income of 10 mass and use 12 mass right at that moment then this number will, minus, will be minus 2. If you are producing 8 mass and only using 6 mass, then this number will be plus 2. The numbers on the left side and the graphic is your storage, while the left number is your maximum storage and the right number is the amount of mass or energy you currently have in your storage. The numbers on the very right are your absolute income. That means the total income or the total spending you have at the moment. Like I said before, the relative income computes from these two values. Let's have a look to the top right hand corner. You have several informations here. First, the current in-game time, the name of the player, his rating, his in-game points, the map you are playing on, the unit cap and your current numbers of units. Right below this panel, you have additional panels where you can see idle engineers or idle commanders, so you can fast select them. Let's move on to the bottom left hand corner. These are general unit control options. You can only see them if you have a unit selected. The first one from left is a movement command. You can activate it by pressing on it or just clicking M. Movement commands will also be applied if you just right click somewhere on the map. The next thing is the attack command. Attack commands will be automatically given if you click an enemy unit. The next thing is a patrol command. Units on patrol will attack every unit near to them and stop until they kill them or get killed themselves. Units on patrol will also reclaim any kind of forest or other wrecks. The third from the right is a stop command. By clicking the stop command or, pre or clicking the hotkey S, you will cancel every command given to the unit and give it a full reset. The second from right is an assist command. By pressing assist on any point of the map or any unit, the unit with the assist command will assist this unit in every way by repairing it, supporting it or just defending it. The last thing is a bit more interesting. It's your fire mode. Normal is return fire. That means every unit in range of this unit will be attacked, but the unit will not follow these units if they move out of their attack radius. The next option is Hold Fire. If a unit is on Hold Fire, it will not fire on anything. The third option is Ground Fire. With Ground Fire, you can order your unit to attack any point of the map. This is especially useful if an enemy unit is stealthed, but you know it is there. The next menu we will look at is the build menu. You can see all available buildings there. The small signs above the buildings show you the tech levels the unit has available. This unit only has tech 1. If you click this sign, you can see what units you have selected. If you click one below, you come to an option only commanders and support commanders have. You can make additional upgrades here. All upgrades are described if you move your cursor above it. You have additional options here and here. Also you can give your allies ping commands by pressing the F5 and higher keys or clicking these symbols. You can leave them a message somewhere on the map. See you in the next video.